It's very nice to be number one once again. We're proud of our organization and proud of our staff. Uh, this is really terrific news for the organization and uh, I think reflects the work that we do. I think it's, um, our staff should be very proud of themselves. I think what this ranking says once again about Mayo Clinic is that we do have a different a way of approaching our patients. We work together in teams. We're extraordinarily good at seeing patients with serious and complex illness because we see a lot of them and we've done that for years. Our practice is infused by research and, our, and the wonderful trainees that we have. And the really different thing about Mayo is that everyone who works here comes to work every day with that purpose to help each other and help the patients. That's really the difference, that integrated care that, that is so uniquely Mayo Clinic. These rankings are important because our patients and their families look to these rankings and others, but U.S. News would be the preeminent one, to see where they should go to get answers, particularly when they haven't received answers locally, whether in their state or in the United States or internationally, as we know. And uh, they look back a few years and say, wait a minute, Mayo Clinic's been number one now year after year, and look at the number of specialties where they are number one, six of them number two, four, we have a number three, and our safety and quality is unmatched. These rankings and this particular honor really goes to our staff, all of our staff, every member of our staff, because working together with that purpose and, and common approach, they make a difference to patients and families. And we hear this every day from our, from our patients, particularly those who haven't been to Mayo before. By the time they've been here a few hours, they say, this place is different. Everyone treats me with respect from the moment I enter uh, through our doors to get care at Mayo. Our staff should be very proud. We're extraordinarily grateful and indebted to them. Our Florida and Arizona campuses do extraordinarily well in these rankings as well, even though they are very small compared with the others in the country against which they're being compared. This reflects the excellence of the staff, no doubt, the excellence of the research and the uh, and the educational programs, the nursing care, and so on at those sites. But it really reflects that common approach to patients, the Mayo approach, compassionate teamwork, working together with that single purpose. Uh, and that's very reassuring to us and to patients and, our fam and their families. The education brings a focus on the workforce and making sure our workforce understand our values and principles, know how to work together, and are also informed by the advances in education around the world so that they can be the very best at what they do. So it's about the workforce, really, of the future. Our research activities are focused on the unmet needs of our patients. What can we do to answer those questions that don't have answers? Can we create better diagnostic tests, safer treatments, more effective treatments, better ways of practicing? And that informs the future, so the practice is always changing. The researchers are always looking for questions that they can uh, contribute to provide a better experience for our patients. And, and that's really important for the Mayo Clinic. Going forward, I have absolutely no doubt that, May, that Mayo Clinic will maintain this reputation because of what? Because of our values and our focus on the patient. All our staff come to work with that single purpose, and that will drive us forward. Our commitment to education, research, and the practice, and indeed our culture and our, and our staff will enable us to be successful going forward. We'll create the future of healthcare, how healthcare is delivered, how it's experienced by patients, because of all of us working together to, to serve that goal. I'm very confident in our future.